Why do snakes like tight spaces? Well I'm sure we all know it's to meet their security needs, but why tight? Why not just hidden? Well, it's to do with something called thigmotaxis, and what this means is the movement of an organism toward or away from an object that provides a mechanical stimulus. It has also been described as to stay close to walls when exploring an open space. In our case, it means seeking an area so tight that a mechanical stimulus of the surrounding area provides added security to the snake. This is something we humans can relate to. In a scary situation, what do we do? We put our back to the wall, because it makes you feel more secure, right? Thigmotaxis is something studied in everything from mice to humans, and what's super interesting is that the more options for security, the more relaxed an organism can be. But here's the problem. Unfortunately, this concept is something that gets misinterpreted in the reptile hobby. Some of the ways snakes are kept due to different beliefs in the reptile hobby aren't really optimal, and I'll go over some studies later on in the video. The high security requirement of some species has led some keepers to assume that if we keep an animal in an enclosed space like a rack or a tub, then that's the issue sorted, right? Provide them with an all-encompassing hide? Well, no. That's actually creating a far bigger array of problems and leads to lower welfare overall. And if you're wondering why exactly that is, watch the video linked in the card at the top right of this screen after watching this video. And on the flip side, keepers may recognise the welfare issues related to racks and provide large enclosures, which is good as it allows for overhead heating, UVB, a greater thermal gradient, the opportunity to create microclimates and overall there is more space for the animal in general. But some keepers may only provide one or two hides. The age old rule you hear is a hide at the cool end and a hide at the hot end. While this is a good thing, it's also missing things. An enclosure with barren space in between hides can leave a snake feeling exposed, which can lead to a snake prioritising its security over thermoregulating along the gradient. It may stay put to avoid venturing out into the open when what it wants to do at that time is achieve a new temperature. So what's the answer? Well the answer is clutter. Clutter the enclosure with visual breaks, hides and tunnels. The snake should be able to move along the gradient without being seen at all should they choose to. You might think well why would I do that? I want to see my snake. Surely if I do that I'll never see it. And that is a reasonable conclusion to come to. However, you may be surprised to hear that the opposite happens. You see the animal more because presumably the animal takes confidence in the multiple options of security it now has. But don't just take my word for it. There's real science to back this up. In this study containing an experiment with corn snakes, a set of juvenile corn snakes were divided in two. One half kept in enriched cluttered enclosures and the other in non-cluttered enclosures. Here are the results of the study. As you can see, the snakes in the less cluttered enclosure spent the vast majority of the time hidden, while the snakes in the enriched cluttered enclosure were exposed more often and altered their hiding spots between different options because they could more freely thermoregulate whilst remaining hidden still. In another study comparing black rat snakes, also enriched enclosures to minimal enclosures, over a period of 8 months, snakes in enriched enclosures were found to grow larger in both mass and length and habituated to open areas outside of the enclosure faster, and also performed better in learning trials. The point I'm trying to make is, the more complex the enclosure, with lots of clutter, the better it is for the snake and you, the reptile keeper, to view and enjoy them. 